Greetings, Blazely Dragon here. Now, I've been attempting to make video games for a while, Game Maker, old RPG Makers. I recently picked up RPG Maker MV, and I wanted to kind of learn how to do it. I wanted to try to customize it. So I went online, and I found this awesome tutorial by this uh, user, uh, McWillix, M-C-W-I-L-L-I-X, and he has this tutorial out here, RPG Maker MV, character select tutorial and I thought it was a great little tutorial and I'm like you know what I think I can customize this and kind of uh, do something else with it uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to build into my game where you basically select and build your character now I know they've got plugins uh, but this is basically like a vanilla version to where you don't need to download anything you can just use the actual RPG maker itself and build it this way so let me show you what I have, and then let me show you how I did it, just in case you're interested. And again, this is based off of his tutorial, so I kind of just went in and kind of customized it for myself. So here's my game, crappy menu, built-in stuff, all vanilla, new game. So you first go in, and it's going to ask you to choose a gender. And you have a little floating shard. You can kind of hover over the character that you want, male or female. And when you select it, it actually says, hey, do you want to play as a female? And shows you what they would look like as an adult. And if you say no, it brings you back. Same thing, you can do a male. Now, if you choose no again, it brings you back. It kind of tests this out with both. If you do say yes, it'll then ask you to choose the length of hair for your character, long or short. And it'll show an actual picture of what they look like as a child before they grow up to being an adult. So again, if I cancel, it brings it back to the main menu. You have that option with both male and female. When you select the option, it'll show you a picture. So, and ask you, you want the hair long like this? Uh, if you say no, it brings you back. You can have the short option, short like this. Uh, same thing is going on with the male character. If I say yes, I want to play as a male character, short hair. So you have these options to begin with, and it gives you this little preview, which I thought was kind of neat. So let's say we go with the long hair. It's going to ask you to pick the color of hair. And this works on both male and female. It works with all the hairstyles. And you basically will get a preview if I say white. And if I say no, it brings me back to that menu. So you can kind of see there's the red, purple, and green. And of course, canceling just brings you back to the length of hair option. So if you pick one of these and you pick the color hair you want, you say yes, it's going to prompt you to input a name for your character. So you go ahead and go through here and you name which, which character to be. You hit OK, and then it boots up into the game with your character in that style. And of course, that's what their image and stuff looks like. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and end, go back to the title screen. Just kind of really quickly go through the same thing with the female selection, just to show some variety. So we'll go ahead and choose long hair this time. Yes, we'll go ahead and go with purple hair. And we'll go ahead and uh, just slap a random name. Same thing, and then it boots up, and that's your character. Uh, so this is one way of doing it vanilla-wise. Now, the plugin that's out there for the character creation, much more much more to it, much more you can do. And this takes quite a while to set up. So like the first thing you need to do besides for doing any of these events and things is you actually need to go into the system, into the database, and you need to actually... Actually, I'm sorry, it wouldn't be here. It would be under here, under the built-in character generator and you build your characters. So what I ended up doing is I saved them just in case I wanted to mess with them some more. Uh, let's see. I have Lou. Oh, looks like I did not save. Going directly where I wanted to with that. That's interesting. So, uh, yeah. Games, vampire, character generator. There we go. So go ahead and load the vampire mail. So I basically created this character as I wanted him. And I changed, oops, I changed his uh, hair color one at a time and then re-exported him with each of the hair options that I wanted into each of the categories. So like for the face, I imported over and I made like this group of faces and I ended up doing that for each one of these. Uh, so all of the hair options, adult and 
child and then male and female versions. I created a whole, whole, whole bunch of these. Uh, the walk ones were not too, too, too bad because again, I can kind of do a grid of multiple ones together. The battler was a pain in the butt because the battler literally needs one for each character type. So I've got all these like, like from this section, all of these here I needed just for these four options. So it was kind of a pain in the butt, but I do like how it turned out and it was kind of what I was trying to do. So this tutorial, if you follow it online, basically it creates your character and under system, it'll actually make them start transparent. So they're actually there, but you just can't see them. And you have this little uh, event here that kind of moves the character inside of this little grid and then erases this event and it gives you this little message to choose your gender. And this event is the only one that's below the character, the rest of the character level, so he can't actually walk through these. It just generates something. So like this is just a blank, these are blank events. This is an event for the selector. Uh, this here is an event that just shows the image of the male adult and then the female adult. So your character actually goes in the middle here, and if you walk left, it selects this one. So that's actually what it's doing. It's saying set event location selector. So this little selector, it puts it over the male, and then it sets the variable for character generator to one. I'm sorry, character gender to one. And the right one does the reverse. It puts it over the female, and it sets the gender to two. You don't have to store them as variables, but as you can see, they're starting out as children, so I'm going to have them grow up, so I'm going to use those variables. So based upon whether or not you chose male or female, I need to know which adult version to turn them into to make them look like that. So basically be changing the character image. Uh, this event here in the middle is the button when you're actually selecting, and basically it's two big if conditions. So if, it's, if the character gender equals one, it gives you the options for the male. And if it's equal to two, it gives you all the options for the female. But they're basically a replication, and it stages them one at a time. So uh, the first thing I'll ask you about is choosing, do you want to choose that gender? So it's going to show you an image, and it's going to ask you if you want to play as that gender. Now, if you say uh, no, it actually, and it's like way, way, way down here, it'll actually just, it's blank. So here you go, blank, and it just throws you back. Same thing with the cancels, it just throws you back to choosing the gender you want. Now, I have this choice of yes or no, like I said, so that's the no. Now, if you say yes, it goes into the next series of questions. So the first thing it does, and I actually, I need to get rid of that. That's something I was doing separate. Uh, so if you say yes, let me go ahead and apply and save that real quick before I forget. So if you say, uh, yeah, so you want to play as a male, and then you say yes, I set up this label, hair length male, and I have a female version that's hair length female. And the reason I do that is I jump back to a label. That's why if you've noticed, if I end up not choosing that length of hair, or saying no, or if I go through the color and hit cancel, I can jump back to this menu in this selection. Uh, so in this one here, I'll d display the character based upon the gender and start as default with long hair. And I tell you to choose your hair length, and that gives you some choices, long, short, and cancel. So if we go down to the cancel option down here, you see when cancel, jump to label hair length male. So by canceling, you go back to choose a different length of hair. That's why I'm setting them up like this to give them that option. Now if you choose long, it will display the long hair look and ask you long with a question and then gives you a yes or no response. Uh, it does the same thing for the short hair option here. So when short, it'll show a little, just show them with short hair and ask you about short and does the same thing. And this does the same for each gender. Uh, so you, like, as, as I mentioned, I mean, you got to set up a lot of different choices to this vanilla. It's just a repeat on each one. Okay, so yeah, let's say you chose yes for the long hair. Now what it does here is when it's yes, it's going to change this variable, which is character hair length. That's either one or two, just like the male or female is one or two. Again, I'm storing that as a variable, variable just because I actually want to have uh, the character grow up, and I'm going to use that variable 
for picking the image going forward. Here, I actually don't need to set the image. I forget why I left that in there. So let me actually, I'll, I'll take that out later. You can ignore that. You don't need to set the character actor image at this time because right now we're just getting that variable set up. Now I'm adding a new label that I can jump back to. Hair color male long. There's also a hair color male short because if you had the short hair selection, you want to jump up to the options for short hair. And this long hair option, you want to jump back up to the long hair options. So then what it'll do is it'll show the length of hair you chose and it'll tell you to choose the color. Then it's going to give you the options, white, red, purple, green, or cancel. Now again, you can make as many options as you want. I did four just because of how many images I had to create for this. Uh, you'd also do this with eyes, nose, uh, outfit. You can do this with anything. It's just the more you add, the more you're going to have to write out. So in this case, the cancel button again is going to do a similar situation where you're going to cancel and it's going to jump back. So when cancel, jump to hair length. So if you just want to cancel out of selecting a hair color, uh, that's one option. Now, white, red, purple, and green. So what does it do? It starts with the text. It shows you an image of what it would look like. Do you want it to be white? Yes or no? No, jump up to the hair color male long. Again, using that label. So I'm jumping to that label so I can let you pick a different color. Now, if you did choose it, what we're going to do is we're going to set the hair color variable, one, two, three, or four, corresponding to white, red, purple, green, again, for when they're adults. Now I have had three variables. What's your gender? What's your hair length? What's your color length? So when I do transition them to an adult during the game, I can reference the variables that were set during the character creation and pick the adult version based upon that. So that's why I did that. And that's like I said, that's just personal preference. Now at this point, this is where we will change the actor image. And we're gonna change this based upon the choices. So this first one is with the white hair and the long. So, whoop, I'm sorry, I have to right click, edit, so I can show you. So I'm changing actors one image. So your actor one still is actor one, but I'm giving them this face this character and this battler. And again, I had to create all of these and put them into these options over here. Oops. So like there's the long hair adult, male and female, short hair adult, male and female. There's the child with long hair, male and female, and then the short with, so yeah, so I, I set it up that way. So I picked that and then here's with them walking, I have the child version and then I have the adult version and the damaged version. So I did each one of those too. And then the same thing with the battler, but this one has to have a unique one for each individual choice. So that's again why it's so pain in the butt, but I'm always setting the actor for that. Then I'm gonna change the class. Uh, it's set as default hero right now. I'm gonna change that when I actually develop the game. This is all I've done so far. Then I give you the name input. And on the name input, I have you uh, up to 16 characters. Then I fade the screen out turn off the transparency of the character and set them up in this little village thing that I made and I fade the screen back in. So that's basically the essence of everything I did and you see that under each choice. So like when it's the red hair, long, uh, long red hair option here, uh, then what ends up happening is I set it up to be red instead. And then yeah, I do that for each piece, male and female, and that's basically the essence of how you uh, create this custom vanilla generator uh, and yeah like I said it kind of turned out the way I wanted it to so I mean I was pretty good with it but again I'm brand new this is just me playing around and learning uh, have fun with this hopefully uh, this helps you you know maybe you can get some inspiration from this and uh, do something from it maybe make your own choices uh, add some more options instead of just the default couple that I have, but I don't know. I don't know, I like how it turned out. I mean, it's pretty, pretty good, I think. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to thumb up, like, and subscribe, and let's keep sharing and make this uh, community great again. Oh, look at that. There's a second character in here. I did not know that. I'm going to have to change that, too. <laughs>